how I kind of work it in the, in the hour that I give myself. And also I want you to know if this isn't the way that you work your business, that's fine. This is just a way to be like, Oh, okay. I like that piece or maybe I could do that. Or, Oh, I like the way she does that. Or just to give you tips and tricks, but my way is not the best way. And if you have something that works for you, I want you to continue to keep doing that. But this is just kind of like a guideline on how to get it done, not to waste time and to rock your business. All right. So let's get started. So I'll be sharing my screen a lot with you guys. We are going to do some work um, tonight, so we'll get ready for that. If you're hopping on, we're going to do um, like a 40-minute power hour together. So first things first, in my power hour, my workout comes in that. Now, um, does it, you know, now with ADD obsession and a lot of long workouts, I can't call that my whole power hour, right? But like, I make sure that I'm being proof that the products work, right? One of the vital behaviors. Now I had shared over in the chat and I'm going to share it again. Cause I think if you hop on late, you don't see it. Um, the business activity tracker, and I will be referencing that a lot tonight. So if you have one, if you don't have an updated one, there's one that I added to the chat, feel free to use it, follow along. But one of the things that it says is, be proof the products work. So a workout is in one is a part of my power hour. Like I said, it was easier with like 22 minute hardcore and 21 day fix because they were half hour workouts, but you get it. Be proof the products work, get your workouts in and, um, drink your shake, drink your energize, drink your hydrate, drink your recover. And then after that, it's personal development. So personal development is really for you. So I know we talk about on our getting started right call more in depth about personal development. You guys should know what it is, types of personal development, but podcasts, calls, um, listening to a book, audibles, reading a book, 10 minutes a day, 10 to 15 minutes a day, um, building that into your power hour. So if that wants to be at the beginning or that wants to be at the end, you choose. If you like me, I'm on the road. So I listen to a lot of stuff while I'm on the road. You know your day, so you have to make that work for you. Um, so, and then stay current. So, just so you, I'm going to start to share my screen with you guys now. Just so if you don't know how to get on the teambeachbody.com, we're going to go through that really fast and look at different things because the online office has changed quite a bit. So, um, can you guys see my screen? Give me a thumbs up. Perfect. Um, all right. So when we're staying current, we are just going to go to body.com and really things that we're going to look for on this. Can someone mute yourself? I have your feedback. Please. Can I mute them? I can't. I don't think. Okay. Thanks. Whoever that was. Um, so we're going to sign in. My stuff's already there. So we're going to look at the coach breaking news. If you don't check this daily, you are going to be behind. I can almost guarantee you that if you didn't check, if you haven't checked your coach breaking news, you didn't know that they were going to sell loops separately. Um, so we would go right here to the coach tab and then we'll go to the coach office. <clears throat> Excuse me, I still have a little congestion from being sick. But this is going to be your main screen right here. And um, here's your tabs at the top. And then obviously you want to check to make sure everything's right, right? So obviously that we'll go into news in a little bit. But this is where you're going to get all of your notifications. So if you send someone a link to buy something, it is going to be here. And you're going to see new customer order, new customers. You're going to see if you sent someone a um, coach link, you're going to see it right here. New, you know, new PS coach sign up. And then here's your coach breaking news. So right here, we can tell site's going to be down on the 12th. Um, you know, team cup, we're, we have $10 off this month. So if you're not checking this daily, you're going to be behind. And you're going to be like, what the heck is going on? And I have to tell you something. This is your business. So yes, we have team pages. Yes, we have success partners. Yes, you have an upline coach, but it's really not their responsibility to school you on stuff 
and to work your business for you. This is all readily available for all of us and it's all our responsibility to check it daily. So if it's not something that you do right now, you know, get that business activity tracker and use it, right? Check those boxes off. So, um, yeah, so we went over, if you sent somebody a link, coaches, et cetera, um, customers, share carts great now. You can um, see that and see who's bought that way. Um, you know, and then the national wake-up call, you can also see the 80-day obsession stuff right here. Um, like I said before, if you need to register for Coach Summit or $10 off your challenge pack, all that is going to be here. So checking that stuff, checking to see how your coaches are doing with Success Club, monitoring your business, checking your sponsorship drill down. It's also your, responsible, your responsibility to see if um, any of your coaches are going to go inactive. Like Thursday is rank day. So Tuesday or Wednesday, we should be checking our ranks, making sure that we are, you know, um, keeping our ranks. And if we're hitting a big goal, we're, we're checking that, right? That's, it's our business and we're checking that. So stay current, check on that. Also check on your team page. So check in on that and just, um, you know, this is our team page right here, team fit empire. So check on that and see what's going on. If anybody has questions, you're there to help, you know, Tara shared her progress photos and we all went on to her page. So stay um, up with that. Also check with your challenge groups. Like this is all part of the business activity, checking in and just checking in there daily and hitting a like, a comment. Um, you know, this is great. And you know, being a part of your challenge groups, right? Supporting, recognizing, another vital behavior is recognition. So really recognizing if you see a challenger doing great, maybe shout them out on their real page or shout them out in your challenge group. So spend about, um, you know, five to 10 minutes checking your groups, checking your team page, checking um, coach breaking news, all of that. So then we get into, um, you know, the nitty gritty stuff. So how do we push our business forward? How are we going to make sure that we don't run out of our warm market, which is like people that are close to us, friends, family, work members, um, relatives, etc. So that's when we get into, okay, how do we work this? How are we going to make sure that our business is always moving forward? Um, wait on one sec. Put this down. Um, so that's when we start to add people to our network. That's when we start to message people. Um, so let's, let's go over that a little bit. So we, you want to be adding three to five contacts a day. So a lot of people, when you're first starting off, it's a little bit scary, right? So, um, you know, when you are going through your Facebook or you're on your cell phone and you see that suggested friends, that's a perfect place for you to start um, finding who you want to start adding to your network, right? Or friends of friends. So, you know, you can go to your friends list. Um, and a good thing, this is what I like to do. I like to go to that friends list on the left-hand side. And I don't do it as often as I should, but I like to point it out here. And you can create a list here. So I could say February. 18 and then I could hit create and then you know the people that I have added to my network um, so these people have accepted my friend request so I can actually go to their Facebook hit this little friends button and um, add them to add, I didn't, but I can make a new list here too. I did February 18, I must not saved. But yeah, we can add new list here and you can hit February, February 18, boom. And so you can keep the people that you're adding 
to your network, you can keep them kind of, um, you know, on a list. So that way you're liking and commenting on their stuff. So it's really important that we're liking and commenting on their stuff. So that way they see our, um, okay. That way they see what we're doing as well. Okay. I know. Um, all right. So yeah, so you go to that friends list right there. You can also go to this following tab and hit C first. And then that way, whenever you go to your, um, on your newsfeed, their stuff will pop up so you can like and comment on their stuff. Um, so three to five friends. So let's go add three to five friends real fast. I'm going to give you about two minutes cause it shouldn't really take long. And, um, like I'm going to stay on this girl's page and, um, friend request some of her people. So I'm going to mute myself really fast. And, um, also if you go to the friends, you can also see like, um, suggest friends. No, I'm sorry, but it's, um, where is it? I don't want to go mutual friends, but the people that they, so obviously the people at the top are going to be the people that you're friends with and they're friends with. So mutual friends. And then as it goes down, you'll see like 14 mutual friends, 12 mutual friends. So those are probably people that you should request. So I'm going to be quiet for a couple minutes and we can request three. when you are requesting, try to find people that are like you. Like I have kids. So obviously I'm, um, you know, finding people that have kids in their profile picture. Now you could actually click on their name and actually see what their profile picture looks like or what their profile looks like. But, um, I'll learn more about them if they request my friendship. Okay. So I probably requested 10 people in that amount of time. So I'm going to give you guys about 30 seconds. <clears throat> Okay. All right. So if you didn't get the three to five people know we were going to do work, make sure that you do that tonight. So that should be a daily thing adding to your network. Um, so let's move forward and let's talk about posting on social media. So I want to point out something to you and maybe you were told this or not, but we don't, we are not all beach body, right? We we make Beachbody work for us. So your profile picture, I mean, your, um, your profile, your actual page should reflect that, right? It shouldn't be all Beachbody. It should be what you encompass, right? People are going to connect with you because of you. So here, I'm showing you my page. This is my baby. I have nothing, nothing in this post about Beachbody, but spread your wings and fly can relate to a lot of people, not just people that, you know, have kids or not like they're kind of like, Oh, you know what? That's a great little just saying. And I didn't say anything about, um, beach body 55 likes. Um, and then I posted, sorry, I'm using the new mouse. Then I posted just, it doesn't have to be simple or I mean, it doesn't have to be complicated right there. I didn't post anything about beach body or anything. Um, and then here was my beach body post. So it wasn't long. I've said last call, um, you know, into our group, so many options and there's so, and so many results. So 
um, I pointed out that you don't have to be one type of person. And I want to show something to you. I got three likes. I had eight people message me about this post. Okay. It was, they said to me last call. Okay. What do I need to do to get in? We all know eight people aren't going to buy, but I want to show you that yes, likes are important, but they're not everything. People are scared to like and comment when it's a vulnerable post like this. So do not get nervous. Do not get scared. Stand behind what you're posting. Okay. So there's my three posts for the day. One was beach body, the other lifestyle or, you know, motivation just to say that it's, that it's simple, or this could be my motivational post or my lifestyle post. So three posts a day, um, usually morning, lunchtime and at night. Um, they say between like six and nine in the morning, 11 to one in the middle of the day, six to nine at night between those times. Obviously, if you're posting 1130 at night, no one's up and they're probably not your people if they are up. So um, I would post around when like minded people like you are up and on Facebook. Um, so that's a little bit about posting. So make sure you're posting, make sure you're staying in people's news feeds, niche, make sure that you're commenting and liking on people's stuff as well. And um, make let people know who you are. And remember that we don't work for Beachbody. We make Beachbody work for us. So, and it's a part of us. We're so much more than that. Um, okay. So now we're going to talk about inviting, which a lot of people are so scared to do and like so nervous and they feel salesy and you're only going to feel that way if you come off that way or, and if you are generally, gen like generally trying to help somebody, then you are going to come off like you're trying to help them. So there's different kinds of inviting. There's cold invites, warm invites, hey girl, um, you know, coach invites. So I, I don't mind cold mes messaging. I know that I'm not like everybody else, but you can also send a message that just says, hey girl, you know, how's your son doing? He's super, super cute. And just get the conversation started. Boom, a message. Um, so just to give you an idea, and we're going to send about, let's do three. Um, hey girls, or invite to a challenge group. Like today is last call for our challenge group. That's on the 19th for 80 day obsession. So you could get some challenge groups started or challenge packs sold tonight with a last call invite. But I want to give you an example of how I would message someone off of this post about my daughter. There's 55 likes, 58 now. And obviously your people at the top are normally the people that interact with you the most. So just to give you an example here, I would, let me see if I can see one. Um, you can just kind of hover over their name and hit message. Let me just make sure. And so I sent her something in October. Um, I will send her something again, just to say, um, well, you guys are covering my screen. There we go. So I would say, Hey girl. Thanks so much for liking my babe's picture. I just loved she was and I can say like I hope she always knows to spread her wings and take a chance like you can just tie it in somehow like um so spread her wings and take a chance trying to show her how women are i don't want to say badass but women are um strong and powerful 
and I could look at her page. I think her, it was, her profile was just of her, but I could say um, something along the lines of, um, you know, I don't want to say like, are you on health journey too, but I could say, um, or I could end it just right there. And then maybe we can just get the conversation started, but I'm tying in like that strong and powerfulness with just this photo. So it's just getting conversation started. And I don't necessarily have to be like, hey, wanna join my challenge group, but let me show you one of those. So I want you, as I'm going through this, to think about three people or to start looking at your profile picture or your profile right now. And um, to look who likes and comments. Those are the people that are easiest to message, right? Because they're already liking and showing interest on your, um, on your stuff. So I can kind of see here, normally if they're Beachbody coach, it says Beachbody coach or something like that. Cause obviously that's, um, interesting when you send something like that. Um, so this one, I would say, hey, girl, thanks so much for showing my food pick love. It seriously doesn't have to be complicated. Do you follow a, um, or I could just say, I love the meal plan I am following now do you I could say do you love a meal plan too or do you do you do you like to keep it simple to keep it simple too and then she could come back and say I don't follow one or yeah I follow the whole 30 or I actually do the 21 day fix and then just to get conversation started you like to keep it simple too. Boom. So, and then same thing here. So, yep, only three people like that. So I could go to this one and 15 people like this one. So I could go down and this is going to be my last one. Then you guys are going to message three people. So, yeah. hey girl, thanks for liking my um, transformation pictures for our program and challenge group kicking off on the 19th. Is it something you would be interested in or to hear more? Boom. Like, look at my terrible um, spelling. But so I'm going to give you guys about four minutes to message if you haven't been already. So about 8.33. So go ahead and look at your posts. And if you don't have any posts that you've posted, um, reach out to like a couple people and maybe just say, hey, I have been doing this program and I absolutely love it. Like, would you like to join me on the 19th? It's not super crazy to talk about it. And you're not being like super salesy or would you like to hear more or are you on a health journey too? <clears throat>
about two more minutes. So I'm just looking at the chat real fast. And yeah, so Megan said that she makes everyone use Google Forms in messaging and I'll ask, and she asked them to fill them out. Um, and then that way she has their contact info. So it's what works for you. If you think a Google Form would work for you, um, then, you know, get a Google Form together and then you can send that out, put, put it in your, um, um, your comments and your posts as well. And then it doesn't make people feel like, oh, other people are going to know what I'm doing. Like they just kind of filled the form out on the back end. All right, but we're going to wrap that up because we have about six minutes left. So um, we're going to send one coach invite. So I know it's scary and it's going to be okay. But so a coach invite. So literally, if you have someone that you think would just be amazing at this, right? They're already doing what we're supposed to be doing, right? So they already post stuff about going to the gym or maybe working out or, you know, um, just like are all the time on your newsfeed and aren't a coach. Just tell them that they would be awesome at this. So I did one today. So I'm going to give you two minutes and I'm going to basically just show you a girl that I sent to and I just told her and gave her encouraging words saying like, you would be an awesome coach. You are making me smile. Like just start the conversation or say, Hey, have you ever given it a, a thought to be like, have you ever thought about becoming a beach body coach? I know it may sound crazy, but I think you would be absolutely incredible at this. And if you want to know more, I would love to chat with you. Boom. Three sentences, not overthought. It's done. So two minutes, one and a half minutes, just pick somebody that you think would be great. Okay, we have four minutes left. So if you didn't get done that invite, it's okay. But l seriously, try not to overthink it. What's the worst they can do is tell you no. This is not, it's not our responsibility to decide for someone else if this is gonna work for them. It's their responsibility to tell us yes or no, that it will or they need to know more. And it's not our decision to tell them or to decide for them that it is or isn't gonna work for them. Can you imagine if someone did not, like give you this opportunity if someone didn't reach out to you about this opportunity how your life would not be where it is today or how it wouldn't be changed so just think about that as you're doing your invites that you can change someone's life just by messaging them um okay so 
we sent challenge groups invites, also fit clubs. Like you can run fit clubs in your community just to get people interested. And um, then you can ask them to join your team, learn about the business, and then your follow up. So follow up with your customers, follow up with your challengers. Um, and, you know, just make sure you're checking in with them and they're making sure they're having the best, um, you know, the best challenge because I'm here to tell you that your challengers will be your coaches. So if they enjoy, they're getting results, they're, you know, loving your challenge groups, they're going to sign up to be your coach. Um, and yeah, so then, and then last thing, like connect with your team and, you know, really, really be there, be all in, make this work for you, but make, make the time, right? So figure out what time works for you and schedule it. So I just want to remind you that this is a way for you to track, right? This is a way for you to hold yourself accountable. Yes, you have a coach. Yes, you have an upline, but this is your business. This is how you are going to make it work for you. No one can decide that for you. We can help you. We can guide you, but this is your business. So I'm here to tell you that if you want this, you take this piece of paper, you check it off, and then you make it work for you. So um, that's basically it. That's like a power hour. You check the stuff off, you put your follow-ups in, you write your goals down, and you go hit them. I'm gonna, we have less than a minute, so I'm going to stop, share. Um, yeah, and you go hit them, and you you get out of this what you want. Um, what you want. So I am done. I am going to look at this chat real fast and I'm going to take a, our picture because that's what I do. So everybody smile because everybody gets mad at me because I don't tell them. So ready? One, two, three. Okay. So yeah. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, post in the team pages. Um, you know, everybody's here to help. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I just don't know one thing she was talking about, like Lindsay, I'll talk to you about fit clubs another time. Um, but yeah, invite anybody you talk to, to join you. All right. And you know what? Like I said before, make Be Beachbody work for you and you don't work for Beachbody. This is you and people are going to join you because of you. All right. I am over and out y'all. Have a good night and thank you all for getting on and I wish you the best in the business.